best wrestling YouTube channel ever. Yeah. Um. I forgot to do this. I forgot to give. I'm really am not the best wrestling channel right now. Because I forgot to give you my, uh. Thoughts. Well, I forgot, I forgot to get, tell you who the what who what the roster on WWE on SPR 2008. So I will do that now. Let me just get to that page to the right page. All right. So here's the first superstar that that is. Well, this goes by alphabetical order, so this really isn't. Here's Batista! Da -na 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 -na. Batista! Batista? They got Chavo Guerrero. I'll show you the picture. It's Chavo Guerrero. There's Chris Masters. Chris Masters. There's Edge. This is SmackDown first, by the way. Here's Finley. Here's the great Kali. Here's Gregory Helms. Here's JBL. Here's Kane. Here's Kenny Dykstra. I kind of forgot about this guy until this game. Here's Mark Henry. Here's Matt Hardy. Here's MVP. Here's Ric Flair. Here's Ray Mysterio. Here's Undertaker. Now we got the SmackDown Divas. Here's Ashley. Here's Michelle McCool. Here's Tori Wilson. Now here, now we're back to the, now these are the lost superstars. Here's Bobby Lashley. I actually met him. Here's Carlito. I met him too. Jeff Hardy. John Cena. Um, JTG, still in the WWE. Tin Baka, Mister Mister Kennedy, Kennedy, Mister McMahon, also known as Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Randall Keith Orton, also known as Randy Orton. This is back when he was an asshole. And he, no, and he, yeah, it's back when he was an asshole. Sandman. Shad Gaspard. Shane McMahon. Shawn Michaels. Also known as Michael Sean Hinkenbottom. Snitsky. Triple H. Umaga. Or as William Eagle used to call me Manga. William Eagle. Speaking of William Eagle. Now they got the Law Divas. Candace Michelle. Me playing on mute. Molina. Yes, 
Mickey James. Now they got ECW superstars. CM Punk. Elijah Book, also known as the Pope D'Angelo Tanello on TNA. Johnny Nitro, also known as, as today as John Morrison. I'm going to have to show you something after I show you this. Um, I actually forget about this guy. Oh, I remember Marcus Corvon. I actually really don't remember. I really don't know this guy that well. Now we're back to the Divas. ECW Divas. Here's Kelly Kelly. That's it. Now we got ECW Legends. Sabu. Terry Funk. Tommy Dreamer. And now we got Legends. Brett the Hitman Hoat. Mick Foley. Rick Rude, or, um, and it doesn't say Ravishing Rick Rude, but it's Rick Rude. The Rock. Rowdy Roddy Piper. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Eddie Galello. Jim Nyhart, Sergeant Slaughter, that's it, um, so that's it for the, uh, this part of the video, I'm surprised that didn't scare Precious, this is what I think of the fact that it didn't scare Precious, let me eat some food. You guys are jealous that you don't have Ridges Doritos. No, not Ridges Doritos. Ridges Sour Cream and Onion Chips. Now I'm going to go get something I was going to show you today. Um, I've been working my ass off, working my ass off to get WWE 13, and look what I found in the hook hall. I found these bad boys right here. Um, I found, it's so easy to you, KM and All-Star Sports proudly presents wrestling superstars, formerly known as John Morrison. Melina, Sunday, March 25th, 2012, 1 p.m. till 1, 3 p.m. at the Crystal Mall. I don't, I don't even know why I didn't go now that I think about it. Probably thought it was a wrestling event. And th I actually don't know why I didn't go. But yeah, but we got, I got that, Morrison and Melina. So let's get on with what I was really going to talk about today. Because um, I've already reviewed SBR 2008. And I had to make this video of the roster because I forgot. So let's get on with it, alright? Shall we? Hold on, uh. I'm gonna actually play my voicemails for you. Just for a second. That was nothing. All of them are nothing. Just fucking nothing. Let's get one with the show. Alright, um... This is now... This I'm going to be giving you now my main event review. That happened last night on October 24th, 2012. 
And the first thing that happens is Miz and Michael Cole cut a promo talking about Ryback. They show a video packet of Ryback, which is the one that was on Monday. Then it shows Michael Cole and, Paul, and then it shows them in the ring having a promo again. Um, Michael Cole, they just talk about Dolph Ziggler. They show a video packet on Dolph Ziggler. I thought Dolph Ziggler's package, video package was pretty awesome. Ryback gets interviewed and says that he will... Um, uh, he's, I forget what he says. I think probably just feed me more. I forget. Um, Dolph, Ma I, I thought this was funny. Matt Stryker's trying to interview Dolph Ziggler, but he's like, not right now, Josh. Not now. Get out of my locker room. So that that was funny. Um, then we get Ryback versus Dolph Ziggler, and Ryback squash squashes Ziggler. I don't know why. I don't think he should cash your money in the bank because it's gonna, gonna hurt him a lot. Um, then it shows the John Cena AJ. Um, segment from uh, Monday Night Raw, and I didn't co I'm going to cover it because I didn't cover it on Raw. Let me tell you something. I don't like this. I don't like it. Um, the reason why I don't like it, and my glasses are hurting me, because I don't have, like, like, this thing's given like a skull, if you can see. This thing right here is giving him a skull. Let me see if he, yeah, see he has no thin, so it's giving me a skull. So I'm gonna be getting new glasses soon. Um, but yeah, um, is this just because they don't have anything for Cena to do? I'm fine with AJ getting by, and I'm fine with Vicky Guerrero being the managing su supervisor. But just because John Cena makes a fucking joke and says that he will take AJ to in and out, doesn't mean anything. They had to make it a whole storyline when it was just one of John Cena's jokes that was for once funny. Because I know what in and out is now. It's just the boobs are just going to be showing. Yeah, um, but yeah, just fuck that. Then it shows Ryback attacking Punk. Then it shows Michael Cole in the Miz interviewing Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman says that Dolph Ziggler ran away from, uh, Ryback, but... Punk did it, but Punk did try to on Monday, so I uh, wouldn't be talking with Paul Heyman. And he says that he's going to be the first superstar to feed right back his first loss. We get Sin Cara versus Alberto Del Rio. When it goes to commercial, it shows Layla talking about breast cancer. Um, I've already seen that uh, promo, so uh, that's my thoughts. I've already seen it, can't really cover that. The match was decent. Um, Delio doesn't end up getting the win with the uh, cross arm breaker, and then he uh, he he calls me. He says that after Sunday, Randy won't be whining and crying like a little baby, no, like a little girl actually. Um, then uh, Dolph Ziggler um, said, and then he says, uh, and then he says, I have millions of dollars. He he mocks the prime time players. They come out. Um, they they said I thought we didn't have an issue. He's like, wait. You guys have an issue with him. And they mentioned that Ray Mysterio is on, like, tour somewhere. So then they all attack, uh, Sin Cara. Randy Orton comes out, scoop slips, um, Dale and Young, RKO's Titus O'Neil, RKO's Dale and Young. Says that Ray Mysterio will be here next week. And he challenges them. It's going to be Randy Orton, Ray Mysterio, and Sin Cara versus, um, Alberto Del Rio and the primetime players. I'm fine with that. Sounds good to me. Whoever wins that match, I don't know who's going to win. Um, I think maybe that Randy Orton... It depends on who wins the Randy Orton-Del Rio match Sunday. If Randy Orton wins that, Del Rio's team will win. If Del Rio beats Orton, Orton's team wins. But that's really much it for main event. I actually think this episode was a little weak because of that buyback match. Because normally I'm expecting like a big match. But it really wasn't that that great. Um, I still my first favorite episode is still the first episode. I don't think any episode is gonna be able to beat that right now. But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Like the videos. You can also favorite the videos. You can also comment on the videos. You can also add me as a friend on Facebook. You can also follow me on Twitter. You can add me as a friend on Facebook and subscribe to CM Brothers. Um, you could like CM Brothers on Facebook and Wrestling Fortune 44 on Facebook. I forgot to mention that. But you can also like the videos of CM Brothers. You can favorite those videos. You can comment on those videos. You can also, 
Um, subscribe to Owner Talkinator. Like those videos. Comment on those videos. You can favorite those videos. You can comment on those videos. You can like it on Facebook. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, I don't know the next time I'm going to be on this channel. I'll be back, though. Don't worry. Maybe for a TNA review. Maybe. Um, I'm going to test out Hulu tonight because superstars I always miss. So I'm going to test that out tonight. That's pretty much it, guys. Precious is going to be a dog. Because I don't like to end it with peace out. It's my catchphrase, but you can't have the same catchphrase every time. So here's how I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it with Precious. Look at this. Precious is walking. Can you see this? No, you can't. Oh, because my fingers are... Precious, can you uh, do me a favor and kind of like smile a little bit? Look at this, guys. Precious looks absolutely amazing. Like she's big, she's wearing a pink. She's wearing a she's wearing a pink um vest that she's really digging. So you guys can't really see it, but you know what? I'm gonna watch. Can you see it? I'm gonna watch my babysitter's a vampire. On on demand, then I'm gonna play SmackDown vs Raw 2009. Hopefully. That's pretty much it, guys. Actually, wait. I'm not saying that anymore. You can't do it. Say it every time. Do you know what I'm gonna say? I know a way to drink Pepsi on school nights.